Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover that's going to be happening next year, going to be giving you guys some details, some theories about which new characters are going to appear, maybe some doppelgangers, and maybe some totally different versions, or maybe some returning characters from past references or past actual characters on the show. So we're going to be going through all of that in one whole big video, there's a lot of deep dives that relate to the Arrowverse and, you know, some new stuff that I want to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. At the end of the Elseworlds crossover, which I have to say was amazing, we got the ending scene with Psycho Pirate and Doctor Destiny and it teases the idea of what's to come in next crossover and that the 2019 crossover is officially titled Crisis on Infinite Earths. So, Crisis on Infinite Earths is massive. I've talked about this in many videos. It is my favourite DC comic book storyline. Highly recommend you read it before it actually comes onto your TV screens because you'll understand it more and it's just such a good read. If you're going to read any comic books from DC, read Crisis on Infinite Earths. And so it's a massive event and it's essentially all the heroes in the multiverse have to team up to defeat the Anti-Monitor aided by Psycho Pirate among a few other people and the monitor recruits 15 heroes from around the earth to actually stop the anti-monitor so earths die earths merge and nothing is ever the same in the dc universe and so that is essentially what psycho pirate roughly said at the end of the elseworlds crossover and it teases crisis on infinite earths and so just before we actually head into this I did say yesterday, I did an interview with the actor who plays Cecile Horton on The Flash, that being Danielle Nicolette, and I didn't link it in the video, it wasn't up yesterday. I'll leave it in the link in the description below so you can see my interview with her, it was really insightful, she gives lots of teasers about what's to come in the rest of The Flash Season 5. So, Crisis on Infinite Earth. So, this year we had three episodes, so it was a three hour crossover for Elseworlds. It was really, really good. They fit in what they could, but if they're going to do Crisis on the Infinite Earths, I have to question the fact, can they do it in three or maybe four episodes if they include Legends of Tomorrow? I don't think they can. I think they will have to really, really just squeeze it in and really not touch upon some of the major points in Crisis on Infinite Earths from the comics. Obviously, they'll have to cut down because it is a rather big comic book storyline and it's rather contained. So, I pose the idea to the CW. We should have a week-long crossover. We should have every single day on the CW, no matter if there's no episodes, we should have that crossover going on for an entire week that would be an epic crossover that no one would want to miss. That is what we all want, because Crisis on Infinite Earths is the biggest DC comic book storyline, and if you want to have the biggest DC TV storyline, the biggest Arrowverse storyline, you have to have it in more than just three or four nights, in my opinion, and in many other people's opinions. So let me know in the comments down below, do you think they should do that? Should they add extra nights? I say do it for a week, do it for seven days, seven episodes, night after night I think that would be perfect so yes it would be so much effort for them to create these episodes but I think due to it being Crisis on Infinite Earths I think it's definitely worth it and I think they definitely should consider doing more than just four episodes so okay moving on so the monitor in the comics recruits 15 main heroes and we get to see hundreds of heroes from DC Comics and from all around the multiverse so the question is, who will appear in the crossover? New, returning, or just teased so far? In the Elseworlds crossover, we got a massive teaser, and this was for John Deagle as a version of Green Lantern John Stewart, most likely because, you know, John Deagle, John Stewart, pretty similar names, both Johns, and John Deagle was made up for the Arrowverse TV show. John Wesley Ship's 90s Flash teased that, yes, John Deagle on a different Earth, on his Earth, is in fact the Green Lantern and we don't know if all the heroes are actually dead on his earth or are they just knocked out because it doesn't really make sense that the Monitor would actually kill them but he does seem to be actually destroying the earths in order to test out these realities see who's strong enough but either way there is definitely more than one version of John Deagle as Green Lantern in the multiverse as we've seen 
from all these different iterations of doppelgangers that we've seen in the Arrowverse. So, will he appear? I think, due to the fact that they teased him in the Elseworlds crossover, it definitely seems like they're setting up a payoff to this, with us seeing a version of Green Lantern, who is in fact John Diggle, from another universe most likely, rather than just RF1 version, because I don't think they're going to do that. So I think that would be the perfect chance to introduce him, and bring this really, really cool new concept of the Green Lanterns to DC TV, and I think it's a great chance. Also, I have to mention, Jon Stewart is actually in Crisis on Infinite Earth, so that links in, that makes a lot of sense. But also, a major character from DC Comics, and probably maybe the third biggest character in Crisis on Infinite Earths is the character of Harbinger, and her real name in the comics is Lila Michaels, and who do we have on Arrow? We have Lila Michaels, going by the codename Harbinger as well on the TV show occasionally, and she just doesn't have the powers or anything, so my theory is we're going to see the actress for Lila Michaels, that being Audrey Marie Anderson, play a different version of herself that being the actual Harbinger from Crisis on Infinite Earths, and you can't do Crisis on Infinite Earths without her, so you would definitely assume she's going to be popping up and playing a major role in this crossover due to it being Crisis on Infinite Earths. And so now moving on from that Green Lantern Harbinger stuff, we are expecting new heroes from DC Comics, and we are expecting doppelgangers. This is supposed to be a crowded crossover, bouncing off from all these different characters. You would hazard the guess they will bring in lots of people, even if they don't have much time, just to bring off that idea of how big of a crisis in scale it is. So bring in maybe the likes of Power Girl, a different version of Supergirl, that is, and bring in older ver and bring in Earth 2 Superman, which is Kal-El without the E in the L, and he is an older version, he is a massive character in Crisis on Infinite Earths, maybe bring in Ginger Wally West, that would be really cool, and also bring in Spectre, who was on the Constantine TV show, now we know Constantine is canon because he's on Legends of Tomorrow, and he's appeared in all these shows, you would hazard the guess, due to the fact of Spectre being a massive character in Crisis on Infinite Earths, he would come. I really do love the Constantine TV show, and I really did love the Spectre, so I really do want to see him return, but in his Spectre form this time, as they teased in Season 1 of Constantine. So, people from Crisis on Infinite Earths that they could also bring in, that have links to the TV show Aura Massive is Pariah, and he is a massive character who is majorly linked to the Anti-Monitor, and a brief synopsis of his character is he hopes to unlock the mysteries of the universe, and so he locks himself in an antimatter chamber, and he hoped to witness the creation of the dawn of time, but instead he witnesses the Anti-Monitor, and he actually helped begin the rampage and destruction of the multiverse and the universe as a whole and he is actually good and he worked with different heroes from all these different realities and so he was essentially a slave to the anti-monitor of sorts and he was cursed to watch this forever. Another major character is Superboy Prime. I'm sure he will probably turn up, and maybe this links into the idea of Lois Lane and Superman actually having a child, maybe that will be a version of Superboy that they will bring in, or maybe it's a doppelganger, I think something like that would be cool, but definitely bring Superman back, definitely bring Tyler Hecklin back, for sure, because Superman from Earth 2 is a massive character, and also Superman from Earth 1 but I'm guessing Supergirl is more going to take that main role from Earth 1, so at least have the Earth 2 Superman. Also, Alexander Luthor Jr. is a massive character in Crisis on Infinite Earth, so, you know, another Luthor member, they could definitely play that into the crossover, for sure. And so, others that we've seen on the show, or we've got reference to, that play big parts in Crisis is actually Firestorm. So, maybe the return of Jefferson Jackson, because we know he's away for now, and maybe he gets a new host, maybe it's an alternate version of Firestorm, like we saw in the Elseworlds crossover on the ground, so maybe Stein survived in one reality, so definitely bring back Firestorm. Ted Cord is another big character in Crisis, and we got refer and we keep on getting reference to Ted Cord over and over and over again, and he is a version of the Atom, so I would definitely expect that, maybe it's just an alternate version of Ray Palmer, 
played by Brandon Ralph. I think they'll be very interesting. Also, the major characters play a role, that being Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, all of these people. They should technically be involved, but they probably won't be involved in the crossover next year. But that's just like a little point for you guys to note down. Also, Obsidian and Katana play a role in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And they have appeared on our Arrowverse shows, so, you know, they could return and... Brainiac 5 plays a massive part, and Martian Manhunter, and so those are two big Supergirl characters right now. Martian Manhunter obviously is a massive character we all love, John Jones, and Brainiac 5 rather new. I think he should stick around for this crossover. Also, Uncle Sam. This has been referenced in when we went to Earth X, there was the Freedom Fighters, and Uncle Sam is the leader of the Freedom Fighters in the comics, so he could be brought in that meaning we can bring back the ray we can bring back all these different versions maybe earth x version of win that we saw in that last crossover also zatanna that is an obvious one because you know we've got constantine i'm expecting constantine to be in the next crossover and he has major links to zatanna and maybe she will appear dream girl this is a legion of superheroes character Nura Now, the descendant of Nia Now, who we have on the TV show, so I expect probably a version of her to pop up if there is space. This is all in regards to what I would like to see, but obviously I'm naming so many characters. Obviously they won't bring in all of these, but Jonah Hex might return, he plays a big role. Additionally, Rip Hunter plays a relatively big role, so I would definitely expect at least Rip to come back. Also, Doctor Fate, that was teased in Season 1 of Constantine, we saw the Helmet of Fate, and additionally, a massive character in the Arrowverse, Monel. Monel plays a part, he plays a role in Crisis on Infinite Earth, so I expect them to bring back Chris Wood and to bring him into this crossover, and maybe that's when he returns for the first time in a long time. But I think they should definitely do that, considering it's such a big crisis event, surely the Legion of Superheroes know about it. And so, Lightning Lass, Legion of Superheroes character, and then also Lex Luthor, we know he's coming to Supergirl this season, Huntress, who appeared on Arrow, Gypsy from The Flash, and also Hawkman and Hawkgirl play a big role. So that's just to name maybe like 20 of them or so that I think should appear and should play roles. But there is a lot more, and I'm talking like loads more. But those are the ones with the links to the TV show so far, like whether they've appeared or not. So we'll have to talk about that. And so what do you think about all these characters? Who do you want to see? I definitely want to see Green Lantern. I want to see Harbinger, so a different version of Lila. I want to see Pariah, Superboy Prime, Earth 2 Superman, The Spectre for sure. I want to see mon return, Dream Girl, Huntress, Rip Hunter, all of these people. I really do want them to actually return and come to this crossover. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a bit long. Yes, I rambled a bit, but I thought I should actually give you my opinions on who I think will appear and who I think should appear in this crossover. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp green